Hello everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome to Modding Fallout 3 2014 Edition. This episode, I am going to be talking about how to mod the user interface. In particular, how to get it to look a little bit better on the PC, as well as to get rid of a bunch of the extraneous information that you don't really need in the game, and replace it with something a little bit more manageable. So let's get started. This video does assume that you've watched the previous two entries in this series. Uh, one, the Nexus Mod Manager video, if you're not familiar with that, just so that you have the familiarity with the software. And the introductory video into this series and the multi-core crash fix uh, that uh, ensure that you have the FOSE, uh, followed script extender, which is going to be required for some of these mods in the future. Now that we've said that we had the baseline down, let's get right into installing the user interface mods. The first mod that we're going to be installing is Darnified UI. What Darnified UI does is it adjusts the scale of a lot of the stuff on the user interface as well as changing the font to make it much better to look at on the PC. It also adds a bunch of extra information such as your radiation, the clock, other things that should have been included with the regular UI but weren't, as well as some customization towards this user interface. So to install Darnified UI, you're going to have to navigate along to the Bethsoft forums here and uh, you'll get this page right here. Uh, you're going to want to scroll down all the way uh, here uh, to the download sections. Uh, and there's two of these you're going to need to download. You're going to need to download Alpha 11 full mod version so that it's compatible with Nexus Mod Manager and the hotfix. So just go ahead, download both of these. It'll, it'll take a little while, uh, but uh, once it's done, you'll be good. So once these are downloaded, uh, open up your Nexus Mod Manager to Fallout 3, go over to the Mods tab, and add mod from file. I'm going to go over to my desktop here, and I'm going to look for Darnified UI Alpha 11. Open that up, and it will add it to uh, here. Uh, and then do the same with the hotfix. We can see right here that both of these mods have actually been added, and this one is uh, in the form of a full mod. Uh, I'm also going to rename these. Click right here on the eye, and it'll open up this screen. And I'm actually going to call it something a little bit more informative. I'm going to call it Darn UI. This one I'm going to call Darn UI Hotfix. There we are. Okay. Then click Darn UI and activate. It'll take a few seconds and it will ask you if you'd like to edit the INI. Click yes. Now my Nexus Mod Manager actually crashed when I did that, so I had to come back in here and re-enable the mod, uh, clicking yes to all for all the options, but uh, now it seems to be working. Uh, after that is done, you can check over here in plugins and we'll see that Darnified UI has in fact been installed. Uh, we're then going to click on the hotfix. It's going to ask you if it wants to overwrite. Since this is a hotfix for that mod, we are going to click yes to all. And it's been successfully activated. So now Darnified UI and its hotfix have been enabled. Here we are with the mod installed, and as you can see, there's a lot more to it. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that there's a clock and the date up in the corner, as well as our XP and RADs. Uh, there's also a lot smaller font over on the sides. If I go over here, which is going to trigger uh, all of my DLC to go off, I believe. Oh, and right up in the corner there, you can see push V to enter VATS. But there's more to this mod, and uh, I will tell you about that as soon as I... If we push escape, there's actually an option right here. D-U-I-F-3. And this is uh, basically allows you to adjust what's shown. Uh, you can have encumbrance. Uh, you can also have your radiation resistance if you want to see that. Uh, karma meter can be turned on. You can see it's all it's all sort of there. Everything is shown up. Uh, but there's still more that we could do to the UI because now that we have all this extra stuff on the screen, even though it's smaller and out of the way. Uh, it'd be nice if we could toggle it on and off so we don't have to look at it all the time. Uh, and it'd also be nice if we could adjust where things were in the heads-up display. 
and that's where the next two mods really come in handy. Now, the next two mods I'm going to cover in a pair. Uh, those mods are both made by the same uh, wonderfully talented Gopher, who is uh, probably one of my favorite modders and favorite YouTubers, actually, in fact. Uh, and these mods are Adjustable HUD and Immersive HUD. And what do they do? Well, I'll take each of them in turn, starting with Adjustable HUD. Uh, what Adjustable HUD does is it allows you to adjust where things are in the heads-up display uh, so that you can actually change the position of things. My favorite thing to do is actually to move the compass to match where it is normally in Skyrim. Uh, go ahead and download with Manager on this. Uh, it will work perfectly fine because this guy has set up all of his mods to do just that. Uh, the second mod is Immersive HUD. Uh, what this mod does is it actually hides the heads-up display and allows you to toggle it with a key. Uh, it allows you to be immersed in the game so you don't see all of the extra extraneous information uh, that show up on the screen when you're playing the game. But it allows you to toggle them off if you really just want to quickly check what your radiation currently is. So go ahead and download with Manager on this file as well. So sometimes Nexus Mod Manager doesn't actually allow the mod to download properly. Uh, sometimes it encounters an error or just has other problems. Uh, and what you can do to solve that is just download the file manually and add it just as you did to Darnified UI. So you see with a HUD here, uh, I'm just going to open it manually. This mod is actually packaged correctly to be downloaded with Manager, so I'll just allow the Mod Manager to add that manually and we will just give it a moment to process. So you'll see there that I now have Adjustable HUD and Immersive HUD available here. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just activate them both, uh, and you'll see that this one actually has a scripted installer. Uh, it's detected that we have Darnified UI, which is good. So just go ahead and click Install. If it doesn't say Detected Darnified UI, you got to go back and you got to install that mod properly. Click Yes to All, and you're done. Uh, now we're going to also do immersive HUD and you can see that it has detected the previous two mods so just if it says that you've done everything correctly go ahead and click install and yes to all. There is actually one more thing that I would like to touch on and it is another mod by Gopher and that mod is the Unified HUD project. Uh, this is a mod that actually allows you to use several different user interface mods and have them integrate properly with your game and I'm going to cover that in this video. Uh, go ahead and download this one with Manager as well. Uh, as you can see, it might take a little while, so I'm just going to cut to when it's finished downloading. So there we go, I uh, downloaded this one manually just to speed things up, and uh, I added it to the Nexus Mod Manager. I'm going to activate this. Now this mod is a little bit different. Uh, every time you open it up, it's going to come with this screen, and you can see that there's all of these different heads-up displays. Now we don't have any of them yet, but every time you add a mod that's in this little checkbox area in the bottom, you're going to rerun this tool and install, and that is going to unify all the different heads-up display mods to work together. So if you have FWE, uh, Advanced Recon, Cinematech, The Director's Chair, and Power Armor Powered, uh, basically these will all be automatically checked off by the scripted install, and you just click install. Yes to all, and this will unify your heads-up display. So let's take a look at our finished heads-up display in the game, uh, just to check out exactly how it works. So here we are back in the wasteland, and you'll probably notice that I don't have a user interface anymore, uh, which could be problematic because now I can't see my health or action points or really any of the useful information that we just installed Darnified UI to use. Uh, so how do I do that? Well, you need to use Immersive HUD and Adjustable HUD. Uh, first thing we're going to do is set up Immersive HUD. Click and hold the I key for about two seconds and it'll open up the options menu. Here we can go to the activation options uh, where we can adjust what's on and what's off. So I want my health to go on in combat. You can also toggle the fade away. So uh, in six seconds, uh, everything will fade away after you pull it up. You can also adjust uh, a toggling fade, which I like to have. And you can check out the compatible mods, including Darnified UI. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to change the activation key to X. So I just click that button and then it's now X. So now if I push X, it will toggle the user interface and toggle it off. 
So there we go. So as you can see, I can now play. Uh, I've obviously kept that one on in my settings. In a much more immersive uh, setting, I don't always have the UI there, but if I'd like to look at it, I just click a button and okay, I can check how many rads I have. But uh, how did I get the compass up there? Well, that's part of adjustable HUD. And to use that one, you have to click F6. Of course, I'd like that to be on, but then you press F6. Uh, and essentially, you can adjust this. You can also change the key for this, but uh, that's not very necessary. So I'm going to click Show Compass Bracket, Move the Compass. The Compass Bracket is uh, obviously that little piece there, and what you do is you use the number keys. Sorry about that. If we're going to be messing around with the positioning of the heads-up display, like for example how I got my compass up there, uh, what I would recommend doing is opening up the options menu by clicking and holding the toggle key for immersive HUD, which I switched to X, and fade away options, I'm going to go to general, and I'm going to go never, just for now, just so we can set this up. Now I'm going to click F6, and I'm going to click adjust the compass. Uh, and now what you're going to need to do is go over to your number pad. Uh, 8, we'll move it up, 2 down, 4 and 6, side to side. 1 will bring you back out, and 5 will return it to its default position. Now, it does move fairly slow, so I would be very careful of where you want it. Clicking any other key, by the way, brings you out of the menu, so be careful not to hit the enter key or anything else. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. That has been the Heads Up Display video for modding Fallout 3. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode where I'm going to be covering Fallout Wanderers Edition and Mart's Mutant Mod in my Major Mods section of the video. Uh, in the future in this series, you can also expect Iron Sights, uh, Eve, as well as a bunch of other convenience mods, and I'm going to make sure that everything is compatible and everything works properly. Uh, if you have any problems, concerns, suggestions, or anything like that, Please don't hesitate to leave a comment, I usually check them every day, and I try and help out people to the best of my abilities. Uh, if there's something wrong with my video as well, I can update it, uh, something similar to that. So thank you very much for watching, I have been Sol, and uh, good luck with the modding. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in you.